What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to rank higher on Google. It's going to be a simple process that anyone can incorporate for their own business. This is part 14 of my SEO series. You can find the earlier parts on a playlist. I will put the playlist URL in the video description for this video, and you'll also be able to find it as a card on the video as well. So what I want to do is I want to go over how I go about trying to rank higher for my own websites, for client websites, anytime I'm doing an SEO project. What I recommend doing is creating content hubs. So what this means is you have a short tail keyword, your main short tail keyword that you want to rank for, and then you're looking for subtopics and long tail keywords related to that short tail keyword. So in this example, I'm going to be using Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn makes a bunch of home products, things like mugs, things like canisters, plates, dishes, bowls, dog bowls, so all these different types of things. And what I want to do is I want to rank higher for the main keyword here, Ray Dunn. So I'm already ranking for this keyword, but my current position is not on the first couple pages of search results. So I'm going to show you exactly what I've done for this keyword to try to rank higher. But what you want to do ultimately is you want to find a main topic that you're trying to rank for. And then you want to find some subtopics related to that topic. And then you can even break it down further and break it down into more subtopics related to your secondary subtopics here. So something like Ray Dunn Christmas. Ray Dunn Christmas ornaments and Ray Dunn Christmas mugs are two other things that people are constantly searching for. So to do a quick example of a content hub, let's say I want to rank for the keyword, keyword research. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out keywords. I usually try to pull about 10 keywords out, 10 of the most popular keywords that are subtopics to this main topic here. So when you're talking about keyword research, someone who owns an affiliate marketing website versus someone who owns an e-commerce website versus someone who owns a local business website, they're all going to take different strategies. And there's also different things that people are going to look up. Some people are looking at keyword research for search engine optimization. Some people are looking for tools. Some people are looking for how to do it for Google ads. So what I start with are keywords. So mine, I have SEO tools, Google ads, tips, and then competitor keyword research. So these are all going to be subtopics related to keyword research. So you want to start with keywords. Usually I use the Google Keyword Planner to find keywords. So if you just go right into the Google Keyword Planner, you enter a keyword here. In this case, I entered Ray Dunn and you scroll down. You're going to find the most relevant keywords to the keyword that you enter. So you're going to see here mugs, Christmas, Halloween. So that made up my first example, mugs, Christmas, Halloween. So you want to pull out some of the most popular keywords that you can find using the Google Keyword Planner, and you can also use any of your favorite keyword research tools if you want. If you go directly to Google, and let's just say, for example, I do a Google image search for Ray Dunn, you're going to see Halloween, collection, coffee, Christmas, magenta, farmhouse, canister, sugar. So even just doing that, I can find some really popular keywords. And then I can also just come over here to the all section. And if you use a free Chrome plugin like Keywords Everywhere, and you scroll down here, they're going to have some related keywords. So for these, it's not the greatest clearance, Kirkland's boutique stores, but for a lot of examples, you're going to find some really good keywords here. And then if you come down, you're going to see people also search for Christmas, Halloween, birdhouse, teapot, pumpkin, Valentine's Day, sister mug, travel mug. So there's a lot of different keywords that people are searching for. And the more I can expand on those subtopics, the better it's going to help me rank for the keyword Ray Dunn and then for all of these long tail keywords as well. So what you want to do is you want to start by coming up with keywords. And then what you want to do is start creating content around those keywords. So the way my content would probably look is I would have a keyword research complete guide for 2020, make this about 3000 words or more. So you're really trying to incorporate some long form content, especially if you're in the marketing space or some of these really competitive spaces where there's some great content creators out there that are writing and continuously optimizing their blog posts. And then what I would do is I would create separate articles for all the other keywords. So how to do keyword research for SEO, 10 best keyword research tools, how to do Google ads, keyword research, 10 helpful keyword research tips, and then simple competitor keyword research methods. And for these, I would say trying to do 1,000 to 2,000 words each. I put 1,500 words here. If you want to write longer content, you can. Ultimately, what you want to do is you want to create better content than your competitors currently have who are ranking on the first page of Google. So if we come back over here to Google, the first thing you're going to see here is the last 28 days, I've only driven two clicks back to my website for Ray Dunn. So that's why I want to try to rank higher for this keyword. I have a good amount of impressions here. My average position is not too bad, but what I want to do is try to optimize for this keyword better. And I'm going to show you how I started doing that just this week. 
So if I keep scrolling down, what I can first do is look at what's ranking here. And then what I want to do is make sure that I'm creating resources that are going to be better than what's already ranking. So that's ultimately what you're trying to do as you're creating content and you're creating this content hub. Now, the next thing you want to do, and this is really just going to be the last thing, is make sure that your pages are linked together and make sure they're very just SEO friendly so you can keep those pages updated over time. So I create a page on my website, website.com slash keyword research. And then I have SEO keyword research, keyword research tools, Google ads, keyword research, keyword research tips, and then competitor keyword research. So let's just say over the course of the year, Google ads, keyword research, the whole entire process changes. They release a new keyword planner. Maybe there's another free keyword research tool that I can also use and incorporate for my Google ads planning. What I want to do is I want to go back to this article on a yearly basis, maybe even every six months if I feel it needs to be updated. And then you can just make sure these pages constantly stay updated on your website. So you're creating these content hubs and you're keeping them as updated as possible every single year. So if I publish these all in 2017, I'm probably going to start losing rankings over time. So what I want to do is in 2018, 2019, and now 2020, keeping these pages all up to date with relevant content. And again, the best possible content you can create to rank higher than your competitors. So now I want to go over a few examples here. So if we come back over, I first going to start in Google search console. So this is where I like to find keywords. So what I'll generally do is I'll come here, looking at the last 28 days, clicks and impressions for farmhousegoals.com. I can scroll down here. You're gonna see some of the top search terms for clicks and then for impressions. So if we're just looking at clicks, you're gonna see Ray Dunn Office, Office Supplies, Comforter. So those are all in the top 10. If I look down even more, Dog Bowls, Coffee Canister, Office Line, sugar canister here. So you're seeing I'm getting some clicks for these different keywords related to Ray Dunn. So that's why I want to continue to optimize for these keywords. If we come over here and we just rank by impressions, this is why I decided that I need to start optimizing for this keyword better is if I click on impressions here, one of the top keywords that's driving impressions for my website is Ray Dunn. So only two clicks, but almost 6,000 impressions over the last month. So if I can double or triple those impressions and improve my average position, so let's look at average position here real quick and we'll scroll down. So my average position is 9.4 for this keyword. So I wanna get that up into the top three if I possibly can. It's not gonna be easy, especially for this main search term here, but if I can rank on the first page consistently, it's gonna drive a ton more traffic back to my website. So what I've done is I've gone and I've created this page, Ray done for sale on my website. I'm still improving this page, but essentially what we have here is a content hub. So Ray Dunn for sale. If we scroll down, I have shop all Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn mugs. So this links out to another page, Christmas decorations, office, bowls, canisters, dishes, dog bowls, and Halloween. So all of these are different pages that I have on my website. And if we keep scrolling down, I have a lot more down here, products for sale, some of these different categories. I have some of those products for sale. So what I'm trying to do is create a huge content hub, a huge guide for people who are looking for Ray Dunn products so they can find anything they're looking for as easy as possible. So if we just come up here to the top and let's just say open up this Ray Dunn mugs page. So we're gonna open up over here. So I have a completely separate blog post on my website for Ray Dunn mugs. And you're gonna see I just posted this recently and I'm gonna to continue to improve this page. And just down here, I just have a bunch of different Ray Dunn mugs for sale. And then what I wanna do is make sure I continuously use some of these different long tail keywords, making sure that people can find exactly what they're looking for. So when someone's looking for Christmas mugs or Halloween mugs, they're gonna be able to find those things. Now, the other thing you can do is you can break down your content hubs into all sorts of different topics and subtopics. So if I come over here, you're gonna see Ray Dunn Christmas decorations and Ray Dunn holiday decorations. So this is not only a subtopic of Ray Dunn, but it's also a subtopic of farmhouse Christmas decorations. So if we come here to farmhouse Christmas decorations, this is another one of my content hubs. I'm gonna show you how this drove me a lot more clicks this holiday season as I continue to improve the content on this website. So this website is fairly new. It's not a really old website. It's not something I've optimized for for years. It's something I've really only worked on pretty extensively for the last six months. But if we keep scrolling down here, you're gonna see browse this article. I have Christmas signs, ornaments, stockings, and then at the bottom, Ray Dunn Christmas decor. So if I click here, people can find all sorts of different Ray Dunn Christmas decorations for sale. So this helped me drive a lot more traffic back to my website during the holiday season so I can continue to drive more revenue for my business. That's ultimately the goal here. 
So if we come back over here, the other one that I've created recently is farmhouse shelves and rustic shelves because there's a lot of search volume around farmhouse shelves, but there's a lot of different categories too. So if we come down here, we're gonna see bathroom shelves, bookshelves, coat hooks, corner shelves, floating shelves. So I have separate pages on my website for every single one of these different subtopics. If you come over here real quick, this is kind of what it looks like when I do it. I just use Microsoft Excel. I start with my main keyword here. I have my main page, so farmhouse shelves, and then all of these different subtopic pages as well are completely separate. So now when someone's going to Google and they're searching for a keyword like farmhouse shelves or maybe wood farmhouse shelves, they're going to be able to say this website farmhouse goals has a lot of content about this subject. It's comprehensive. It's complete. Every single subtopic is covered. So we're going to rank this page higher than a competitor page that maybe only has one page related to farmhouse shelves on their website. So essentially that's what you're trying to do is create these content hubs and you want to create maybe one per week, maybe one every two weeks. And then you just wanna keep improving those content hubs so they stay relevant and updated over time. The way that I kind of look at it is when I'm trying to rank for keywords. So even if it's something like farmhouse decor, then I'd have farmhouse wall decor, and then I'd have farmhouse shelves. So they're all really related keywords. And as I continue to improve my content for some of these short tail keywords and some of these long tail keywords, everything is gonna be lifted over the course of time. So this is how to rank higher on Google. You wanna create these content hubs. They're really not difficult to create. And what you wanna do is use something like the Google Keyword Planner, like I showed you earlier. And all you wanna do is just come up here. And if we're looking at keyword research, let's just enter keyword research here. Click on get results. It's gonna show me the most relevant keywords here. Some of the keywords with the highest average monthly searches. So you're just gonna see here, keyword research tool. Keyword finder, you're also going to see KW finder up here. So if I do a guide on my website about how to use keyword finder, that's probably going to help me rank higher as well. Keyword generator. So maybe I list some of the top keyword generators that people can find YouTube keyword tools. So that would actually be a subtopic of keyword research tools. So I can actually help that expand my content hub to a new subtopic line where I have YouTube keyword tool. Maybe I have free keyword research tools. Maybe I have SEO keyword research tools. So I can cover all of these different topics. One of the main questions I get is how to handle content when you're creating something like this for keyword research. So how do I create content around a topic like keyword research? So should I, should I put all of this onto one page? But really what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that you're creating these separate pieces of content and then you link them together. So you have these pages all linked together. So when someone does type in how to do keyword research, they hopefully find this page at the top and then there's all these subcategories here as well. So they're gonna find this right here, keyword research. And then if they wanna find keyword research tools, they can click on this link through that page. Same thing as if someone's looking up, how do I do keyword research for my competitors? Hopefully they find this page here. And this is ranking high because I have all this other content on my website. So if you're trying to rank higher in Google, this is how I would recommend approaching it. After you do your keyword research, after you're creating really great content, make sure that you're focusing on keywords and then the best content you can create for those keywords because Google is looking at user intent so someone who is looking up keyword research for Google ads has a different user intent than someone who's looking up competitor keyword research for the most part. So there is going to be some crossover at times, but don't worry about that. Just focus on creating these content hubs around your main keywords. And you really want to focus on your most difficult keywords first, and then you want to continue to expand. So I'm right now focused on Ray Dunn because there's so much search volume around this keyword and all these subcategories as well, that if I can drive more of that traffic back to my website, it's ultimately gonna help me drive more revenue. And just coming back over here and looking at the Google Search Console, like I showed earlier, you're seeing I'm getting a lot of impressions for this keyword already, and I'm getting a lot of clicks for Ray Dunn type keywords. So if I can keep expanding my content and improving it, linking it together, and making sure that Google and other search engines know that I've created some really great guides around these keywords, it's gonna help me rank higher and drive more traffic. So that's how to rank higher in Google create content hubs. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.